Hey guys. What? She's old. Whatever. <laughs> just kidding. Yes, she just got off of work, so we're gonna go out now. And she ordered the entire menu. Whatever. <laughs> so we got ramen. Thank you. We got some gyoza, and then I don't know what that is, but she ordered some. I got food. I'm talking. Uh, we got a burger. I think I know. <laughs> Yum. What'd you get, Kenneth? Hey. <laughs> hey, what'd you get? You got the same exact thing, but no coke. It's all plastic and Starbucks. Hey! <laughs> Aren't you so good to admire you? Cause you sound in something like a mirror And I can't help you notice like, The last book I read get, get some, uh, Was I Am Zlatan You know what vlog? I'm gonna show you my prized possession It's my latest add to the collection It's interesting How to get a girlfriend I'm gonna read you the first 10 pages Chapter 1 Unlocking the mystery of women 
Over the course of your dating adventures, chances are you've experienced at least one, if not hundreds, of perplexing, if not completely irrational behaviors from women. I know I dealt with my women in my past. No, I don't. I'm at a thrift store right now, and I can never escape this. We finished shopping. I'm going to do a haul. I got the One Direction movie for a dollar. I think this was a gem to find. I'm excited for this. Fun fact, opening day when it came out, I saw it back to back. Right after I finished it, I walked into the next showing, and I sat in the front. And then the first time I sat in the back, because I wanted to experience it in both ways, you know? We are eating tacos now. I got Bria tacos. This is what it looks like. Kenneth, what'd you get? Some California fries. Yeah, what'd you get? Same thing as you. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> You're stupid. We're at Barnes & Noble. Look what's out in the public. Lily and Lo, love. Hey, Kenneth. <laughs> These are so pretty. I really like the Les Rob one. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that. We're at the comic book section. He's looking at comic books or graphic novels. I got a double chocolate cheesecake and a water. A cookie and a chocolate milk. Okay, so I'm at the pan with the one and only. <laughs> so it's Thursday and we are in our lazy girl mood. We didn't want to get up on a bed today. But we wanted to go get breakfast, so we're gonna go to Original Pancake House. My aunt. <laughs> I got chocolate chip pancakes. My aunt got strawberry waffles. We're still pretty tired. We look a mess, but it's okay. Okay, so this is my food. I got the chocolate chip pancakes. My aunt got a strawberry waffle. I'm gonna go to Salvation Army next. Honestly, I don't know what this vlog is. I feel like I've vlogged like random things. This is literally just gonna be like a film dump. I don't even know what this vlog is at this point. Coach, look at the so coach. We're looking at bags. My aunt loves coach. We're gonna pick up my cousin Amazon Ethan music. and his friend. And I'm going to show her popular book talk book. And she's going to guess what they're about, okay? Okay. Okay, I guess. Okay. Freedance by Penelope Douglas. Okay. What's it about? What do you think it's about? I'm not good in English. It has nothing to do with being good at English, just based on the cover, what do you think it's about? I don't know, something like in the forest, like making love. Okay, Hunan Dehaz doesn't care about anything anymore. The only child of a film producer and his scarlet wife, she's grown up with wealth and privilege, but not love or guidance. And when they suddenly pass away, she should be devastated. Sent to live with him and his two sons, Noah and Caleb, in the mountains of Colorado, Tunan soon learns that these men have a say in what she chooses to care and not care about anymore. One of them has her, the other one wants her, but he, he's going to keep her. Do you get it? I still don't get it. Okay, so she's under the care of her father's stepbrother mm -hmm. and his two sons, and she goes from hopping into one bed to the other. <laughs> what? She sleeps with them. The three of them? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why? I don't know. I haven't read Why this book. Why would you read that book like that? I haven't read this! OMG. Oh my G. But it's... <laughs> <laughs> But it's a popular, it's a popular book. But didn't Chief pick it up? Yeah. And use it? Up, oh, he's dead. I mean, the special effects aren't bad. Actually, never mind, they're pretty bad. Hey, but the Warthog gun didn't It's Thursday, March 31st. Harry Styles just dropped as it was. Fine Line era is officially over! Harry's house begin! <laughs> but he looks so good. Harry, I love you. <laughs> but the outfit gotta go. I used my aunt's Dyson for my hair, and I really like it. I think I might buy one. But I like the volume that it gives my hair. We are going to Disneyland again. We're eating at Carnation Cafe tonight. It's like my late birthday dinner thing. Say hi. Hi. This is what I got. I got the braised short rib, and he got a burger. His jaw hurt. I really, really like what I got. It was so good. Yeah, We're gonna go to Guardians right now. Can you add commentary? Good morning, Guardians. Nobody can fucking hear you. 
Okay, so we're still in line for Guardian, but I'm waiting. I'll just like have my phone. I am 60% in, and a lot of things are happening. And I'm gonna try to finish this tonight while I'm in line waiting for all the rides. We're in line for Soren right now. There's like a special where it's like Thorn over California right now. How long is that until? Uh, okay. Oh, I think it's for like the month or something. I don't know. But right now it's Thorn over California instead of Thorn over the world. Your it's only like 20 minute wait. Thorn over California or Thorn over the world? You like Soarin' Over California. I don't know which one I like more. I think Soarin' Over the World has better scents. I don't really care for the orange scent, but I like the Fiji one. Our jackets, you can get it at Trash Clothes. Spider-Man, Nightmare Before Christmas, at Trash Clothes. Just got off Soarin' Over California. I think I liked it more than Soarin' Over the World. One of the parts was Yosemite, and I took a picture. It reminded me of Rike and Daisy, and then I just imagined like Rike rock climbing. Yeah, that series has taken over my life. Got out to the court eight. Now I'm just thinking about Charlie leaving his family and going on his own in Disneyland. Look how pretty. We are on our way to Star Tours. It's only like 20 minutes, so we're gonna go there. Prior to leaving the spaceport, passengers requiring assistance should visit the nearest spaceport information kiosk. Thank you. It's now only like 10 minutes. Alright, keep moving, keep moving. Prediction, what do you think we're gonna get? I think we're gonna get like the snow one and then maybe the water one. Just got off Star Tours and our like chip thing broke down so we had to wait for that to start and then they ended up putting us in the new one and then in the new one I was the rebel spy and so my picture was like on the screen we're just walking now it's like almost 11 now I think and Disney closes at 12. Declan, Rowan, and Cal where are you at? I'm a cow girl. I think I'm going to win. Now we're gonna go to Korean barbecue. Oh, kitty, she doesn't like you. Kitty, mm. she likes me. We're gonna get Korean barbecue, but we're waiting in the car because we're like we were 48th in line. Okay, say hey. Hi. Yo, what's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> follow me on Instagram at GT Real and follow my graphic design account at uh, Gabo Studios. Already know the vibes. We out here. We're about to eat some good ass food with the gang. Hey, hey. hi. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. Nemo. Yeah, Tom Holland. No. No. no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew Garfield. The yeah. hottest Spider Man. We're at 10 now. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go.
sushi in so long. And look at this crunch roll. My flight is today at 9. Club with avocado, tomato, bacon, and I got some potato chips, and I have my Kindle. I usually sit aisle seat, but since it was a late flight today, I got a window seat. Recording it is. 